Uh, good afternoon. Uh, it's approximately uh, 10 after 12. Um, said uh, on Sunday that I would be giving you um, doing this on Wednesday. It happens to be Wednesday, but um, I'm not going to be putting it um, um, out uh, until t uh, tomorrow, Thursday. Um, what I'd like to talk, in a way, uh, is about compassion. I know, um, actually I had a conversation with someone I know, and we both agree that uh, the level of arrogance amongst people is very high, and it's just not St. Catharines or Niagara, but it is um, Ontario and North America. Uh, Americans are no different than Canadians in this regard of arrogance, and uh, it certainly exists here. Um, it really started after this kind of arrogance, after the Second World War, and I don't know the reasons why it happened, but suddenly we started becoming demanding. Um, you would see it uh, in the 50s and 60s, in my own generation, uh, arrogant. You'd see the hippies, how arrogant. Uh, and today, even more arrogant than before. You just demand everything. And you have opinions about things you know nothing about. So, um, what I really want to talk about is compassion. I know it's very hard for you, because the vast majority don't know what that means, compassion. Now, I'm going to confess right up front, I'm not an angel, not even close to being an angel. Um, when I was younger, it could be as, about as, well, arrogant too, in some things. But you guys, especially in this, this town, it really isn't a city, it's more like a large town. The arrogance is unbelievable. And you think you get away with it. You have these opinions about things, and if you listen to them, they make no sense. So, um, I'm going to t tell you, um, I mean, many people in this town or whatever wonder, have all these opinions about me. You know, none of them are freaking well correct. That's how ignorant you are or percentage. When I say that, I don't mean it's 100%. I would say around 50, unfortunately, perhaps even 60% um, are kind of corrupt. Most people wouldn't do this. Um, when I was first here, I started walking dogs for the vet, you know? Uh, volunteer walk dogs. And I liked it. I liked dogs. Dogs are so simple, you know. There are four four basic aspects. One, that it loves food. Two, it can really sleep quite well. And thirdly, it likes to run a great deal. And fourthly, it likes to be scratched a whole lot. It's basic. That's why I like them so much. It's humans that are hard. Uh, the next one, a friend of um, got me involved with um, bingo out in uh, Niagara Falls uh, to raise his money for uh, kids. And we did that for a couple of years and so. Uh, then I um, started something I had not expected to be doing. Um, but this is at um, Heidi Off on Lake Street. Um, they, uh, there are three branches, three um, levels. Uh, one is a ap regular apartment building. Uh, the next is what there is, um, they are no longer uh, capable of, uh, of life in general. They go to the next level. And then finally, the, the saddest part, but unfortunately uh, necessary, is um, when you're behind the, the locked door. That's rather sad. Um, I don't know how I got into it, but uh, I did. Uh, and every Sunday morning, uh, I would go uh, to the third, uh, the second floor, and uh, 
through the, you know, the door. You have to um, sort of um, punch your way into uh, the wards. There are actually three wards, one on top of the other. And I always went to the second one. And I got to know them. Uh, primarily, and they are uh, uh, females, but some men too. Uh, and I got, it's hard to get friendly with many of them, but some you can. Um, uh, my job was in the morning. Um, I think it was 8.30 uh, each Sunday morning. And I would feed them. Uh, I would roll their, uh, either escort them into the uh, dining area or roll them by uh, uh, their uh, wheelchairs into um, uh, that cafeteria or dining area. And then I would s seat them down and I would take a napkin and put it around their ne neck and so on. And, um, their fo food would come and I would feed them. Even though sometimes is, I mean, you have to wash your hands, it's fundamental. But, and, when, even at times, you have to stick it in their mouth. I know, I know you people would find that revolting. So many of you, I am so I can't describe some of you. But anyway, I would do that, and I would go from one table to another t table. Some, um, many of them just simply can no longer eat. And if you really think about it. It's the only sensation that they have, is the taste of food. That's it, really. And um, I do, over those f five years, started to go into decline and decline and die. So I stopped for a couple of years. Well, I would go um, occasionally, um, because I moved out to Niagara on the lake for a while. Then I came back here, and... Um, the wonderful woman who um, who uh, caters or uh, administrates over uh, volunteers and so on um, um, uh, called me again um, and it had to do with the um, um, uh, problems we have right now. You cannot, cannot really go into. Uh, uh, the building at all, must, uh, in any area of it. Um, so um, I've been waiting to, to go back. Um, uh, the reason why behind this is, and it should be in your own, it's called, uh, it is um, compassion towards people. I think, I suppose, it was the hemorrhage that I had that made me far more compassionate than I was before. But I would do that every morning, and I liked it. And afterwards, feeding them, I would um, wheel them back, usually in the large room with a television area, um, and far too um, uh, uh, small. And I don't know where your freaking um, money in your freaking pockets doesn't help these people. Because you know emotionally you're incapable of doing that. Because you don't know what compassion is. And the funny thing is, there's religion, as I, I understand religion was more powerful here than others. And, and there still is a higher percentage, maybe. And they have no compassion. What always bothered me about that too, every Sunday I would only see, usually, almost always, it was, and if the, it was a, a male who was uh, in that uh, ward, um, the wife would always come, would always be there for him. Um, but that's a small percentage. The vast majority see no one. Maybe a Christmas time. Maybe a card. What I'm talking about is arrogance again. How arrogant. We talk about a general... Um, it's going to be a financial fall. Um, 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 and it, it probably will come about. 
And I think the great, um, uh, 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 um, I cannot remember the name, but, um, the decline, the great economic decline of the 1930s, um, it actually calmed people emotionally. They became more humble and humbled by life. And if you compare the two, the Great Depression and today, my God, what what, what a difference. Uh, they're a nicer people. They understood that life is tough and that everyone um, can be, will, will have problems too. So um, that's what I had to say, compassion, and how little it is here, and what I witnessed. I guess it was being at Hadihoff and seeing so many children or grandchildren ever go to see them you know, it indicates how arrogant you really are. So, um, a little joke though. One day I walked in um, the dining area and a woman, she was very big, she was taller than I am, and she looked rather muscular. She ran to me, put her, hand, her arms around me, and gave me the fattest, wettest kiss I've ever received. It was very funny. Um, you have to be careful, because another one tried to slap me. The emotions are, um, are, are quite, uh, uh, um, uh, it must be dealt, uh, dealt with. Anyway, um, I'm tired, uh, and I'm going to end it uh, right now. And as I ex explained at the beginning, uh, you will see this on uh, tomorrow, Thursday. So um, try to be more charitable. I ask you that. Be more compassionate towards people. A lot of people have problems. Help them out. When it came to me, no one did. It's that arrogance. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye. I will see you. Um, you will hear and see me on Sunday. Uh, thank you for watching and listening to me. Thank you.